How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to my low level slash Iron Man guide for Greg. Uh, so whether you're an Iron Man who's trying to get themselves level 85 weapons, uh, who only has level 80s, or you're a lower level who just wants to get some kills, maybe it's for a death task, this guide should help you. Uh, I'm going to outline all of the best strategies, all the mechanics, I'm going to go through all the different types of attacks and how to deal with everything. Uh, now, it is worth me mentioning uh, that if you are planning on going with the absolute minimum requirements that I outline in this guide, it is not going to be efficient for you to camp hundreds of kills. It'll be perfect for a death task or for a quick trip if you want to try your luck and get lucky, uh, but if you're camping for something like a pet, it's going to be worthwhile to train your stats up or to get better gear uh, just because of how Greg attacks. Uh, that being said, this guide does show all the best strategies, so it does not matter what gear you have, uh, this guide should help you unless you already are doing it as efficiently as possible. Uh, so anyway, that's about it uh, for the disclaimer stuff. Hopefully Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, have a good one everyone, peace out, and let's jump right into the video. Okay, into the table of contents, all you have to do is click anywhere on screen and it will actually jump you if you're on a non-mobile device, it'll jump you to that section of the video, otherwise the timestamps are there as well. Okay, now some info about Greg. Greg has a combat level of 1000, a maximum hit of 2300, 200,000 life points, Poisons is not immune to poison, so can be poisoned, and also has no weakness. That's some general info about the boss. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into the requirements for this guide. Okay, for starters, Greg technically only has one requirement, which is 80 prayer. That is the only stat you need to actually be able to go in and fight the boss. Uh, now what I'm going to recommend for this guide is level 80 ranged, level 70 defense, and around 3 to 5 mil uh, just for some gear. Now you can do it with lower stats, and when testing it out, I did manage to kill it uh, with a salamander, which is level 70 weapon, uh, but it's just highly inefficient. You're going to use way too much food, and it probably won't be worth your time. So if you need to for a death task, you could with a level 70 weapon, uh, but I'd strongly recommend level 80 ranged. Okay, when looking at gear and invent setup, there's one really good rule of thumb, which is just use the best things you can. Uh, use the best beast of burden you can, use the highest tier range weapon you can, use the best armor you can, use the best potions you can, which if you do not have overloads or extremes would be like the grand potions, you can buy them on the grand exchange. Uh, and also don't forget an anti-poison. Uh, so that's going to be your main gear and imp setup, and I'm going to show you right now what the setup I'm going to be using in this video is, and what everything looks like. And now a lot of people seem to believe that you need tier 90s and really high stats and overloads and things uh, to kill these God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses, and that is totally not the case. Uh, obviously they help, they make it easier, but is it required? Totally not. Uh, so I'm going to be using basically very, very cheap low-end gear uh, with low stat requirements uh, for this guide, and I also won't be using anything like overloads or curses, anything like that that is highly expensive. So this would be useful on an Iron Man or a lower level player. Uh, so first off, into my gear, uh, what we've got is I've got a Sharpshooter Aura, I've got an Armital Helmet, I've got a Sign of Life, just because it's good to have, I've got a Ceratomans Murmur, I've got a Combat Escape, that's the same as any skill cape. Uh, obviously, if you've got a Kiln Cape, that's better, but a Skill Cape will do. Uh, now, my main weapon is a Royal Crossbow and Royal Bolts, that's the plan there. Uh, and now I've got Royal Dragonhide Body, Royal Dragonhide Chaps, Royal Spiky Van Braces, Armital Boots, and a Ring of Vigor. You could replace this with an Asylum Surgeon's Ring, Ring of Death, whatever you have, whatever you can afford. But I started off with some basic, fairly inexpensive gear. And now on my invent, you're going to find the same thing, nothing that would require uh, any like special potions like Herbal or anything like that. Uh, you can buy all this stuff on the Grand Exchange. So we've got Grand Ranging Potion, Grand Defense Potion. I cannot stress the Defense Potion enough. All the time I make guides and people are like, I keep dying, I keep dying, I keep dying probably because they're not drinking a defense potion. And now, other important thing is you're going to want an anti-poison, uh, some prayer flasks, uh, and also a way to get to the heart of Gilinor. Uh, so for me, I'm going to be using a heart teleport. Uh, if you do a simple mini quest, uh, you can use these teleport tabs and they'll get you right there. Uh, if you do not have them though, it's not the end of the world. All you can do is you can just teleport to the bandit camp uh, and then you're going to run southwest and you'll find yourself uh, all the way to the heart. So it's all good. Uh, now, I've got rock tails in my invent and also rock tails in my war tort. Uh, important, you don't need rock tails, but just whatever food uh, you have, you could use sharks. I wouldn't recommend monkfish though, because you'd just be eating the whole time. Uh, but you know, anything better than sharks and you should be just fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to break our heart teleport tablet and we are going to get, uh, get to the boss. Okay, so once you're in here, uh, Greg is up this way. As you can see, uh, Greg's chosen. And all we're going to do is we're just going to follow the path and we're going to run in exactly this area. Uh, now, to get into the boss, you do need 40 Greg kill count. Uh, kills from 40 different Greg followers. Uh, it won't take you very long, and it's actually really nice that it costs you kill count for an hour of the boss. Uh, the reason it's nice that it costs kill count is because when you're learning this boss, it means that every time you try it, you're not losing 200, 300, 400k on an instance, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, makes it really easy to practice. So anything like necromancers, uh, whites, any of those people, 
Uh, if you kill them, they will give you uh, your kill count. As you can see, skeletons, necromancers, whites, all of these will count towards a kill count. Uh, so you just want to kill 40 of them, uh, and then you're going to pass through this threshold. And now, I don't have 40 kill count right now, but I already have an instance open, uh, so that's totally fine. Uh, if you already have an instance open, you can actually go back into the same instance, which also is really nice for lower level players, uh, because if you only lost a couple kills a trip, it's really nice that you can just teleport back to the heart and come back right away with more food, uh, and it is very, very beneficial in that sense. Uh, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to talk about how to actually go through the kill, uh, but for starters, we're just going to go traverse the barrier. Uh, we're going to open up our instance, uh, and we're going to get back in there. Uh, so the boss is going to spawn in a minute, uh, but as you can see, we, we're in the instance, everything is good, everything is fine. Uh, now I'm going to talk a little bit about abilities. Important ability to have is Ricochet, that's a really nice one to have. Uh, other than Ricochet, just do three thresholds, and if you have a Death Swiftness, uh, it'll go really well for you, it's really nice to have, uh, but it is in no means required. Uh, now some other good abilities uh, to pay attention to, uh, devotion, if you have it, can be quite nice to use, and also debilitate. Uh, because devotion and debilitate uh, will just reduce the damage that you're taking throughout the whole kill. Uh, so if you can sort of on a rotation be using them back and forth, it can make a fairly significant difference. Okay, so for your quick prayers, you're going to want to have them set onto rigor, protect from range, and protect items. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the different types of special attacks that you're going to have to pay attention to and how to deal with them. Uh, so the three attacks are the rise child, the glaive throw, and the minions. Uh, so we're going to start off with the rise child. Okay, so the first attack we're going to be talking about is the Rise Child. Uh, so Greg will say Rise Child and a pink child will spawn. You have to kill it before it reaches Greg, simple as that. Uh, if the child does hit Greg, Greg will get a hefty buff. It'll either increase the poison damage, increase his attack speed, or increase the attack damage. If you miss one or two children, it's not the end of the world, but it only gets really, really bad if Greg gets five or six or seven stacks, and then all of a sudden he'll be attacking at an incredible rate or hitting incredibly high, and you're just going to have a really, really rough time. Uh, so definitely make it your priority to kill these children before they bump into Greg. Okay, the next attack we're going to be looking at is the Glaive Throw. How this works is Greg will throw his Shadow Glaives into the air, uh, all you have to do is move to a different square, uh, and if you don't, you'll be hit between 1.5k and 3k magic damage. Uh, this is a really easy one to avoid because how I've got it set up, uh, it's always going to be the exact same thing. You're always going to be in the same square, and you always have to move one square over, uh, and you'll dodge it every single time uh, as long as you're quick enough to move. Uh, so a really easy attack, uh, just make sure you're paying attention to it because it will absolutely waste your food. Okay, now we've saved the best for last. Uh, this is the minion attack. Uh, at 140,000 life points and 60,000 life points, respectively, Greg will summon two to three minions. These minions can swap places with Greg at any point, uh, so be careful and be mindful of that. Uh, now, the minions don't hit much and can be taken care of with multi-target abilities. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is when the minions uh, spawn, all you want to do is you want to spam click under yourself because you want to make sure Greg doesn't pull you out. Uh, the reason being, uh, if Greg pulls you out and the minions get adjacent to you, what could happen is Greg could instantly become one of the minions and then melee you. Uh, the reason you cannot melee Greg is because Greg does massive damage with his melee attack, so you want to make sure you're always out of the range, uh, Greg's melee attack range, because if you get within that melee attack range, you can get one hit. He can combo four or five, even 6k damage with his melee attacks. Uh, so what you, all you want to do is you want to spam click in the square underneath you, uh, and just make sure that you're not getting pulled out, resume attacking Greg, and then once all the minions are stacked up, you're going to do a bombardment and then a ricochet, and that should take care of all of the minions. Uh, now, another tip is you can also use Devotion right before the minions spawn. Uh, the reason this is helpful is because uh, anytime you kill anything with Devotion, it'll actually increase the timer of the Devotion and make it last even longer, uh, which can save yourself a lot of food. Uh, so when they come, use Devotion, Bombardment, Ricochet, and that'll take care of all your minions. Okay, so now you know all the important attacks, you know what to look out for, uh, but let's put it all together uh, and try and get through one complete kill. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit, and I'm going to commentate through an entire Greg kill. Okay, when you're ready, what you're going to do is you're going to enter the room, you're going to make sure you're potting up, make sure you got your anti-poison on, uh, and then you're just going to stand right where I'm standing, right next to the door. Uh, Greg will get up to you, and the trick and the reason why you're standing next to the door like this is so that uh, Greg will never, ever, ever be able to melee you as long as you don't leave that area during the kill. Uh, so you're going to stay in those two squares, and as you can see, we just dealt with a child and a glaive throw. Quite simple, just as we discussed. Uh, so all you have to do is keep switching. Uh, every single time Greg wants to do a glaive throw, just switch from one of the squares that I was in at the start uh, to the other one, uh, just between those two squares. Now, minions have come. Uh, so what I'm doing right there is I'm spam clicking under myself. Now, those are minions and a rise child at the same time. Just deal with the child and then deal with the minions. I also use Devo to basically give myself even better chances success, uh, take even less damage. 
uh, but it's the exact same thing. Focus on the rise children uh, before you deal with the minions, uh, but as long as you don't leave your little cubby there, uh, you're not actually going to get meleeed by any of the minions, so you don't really need to worry about them too much, and you'll get rid of them with your multi-target abilities. Uh, so now we're almost halfway done. I did pop off a Death Swiftness just to give myself some extra DPS, uh, but as you can see, it really just is a basic comb combination of the attacks that we previously discussed. Uh, I am using Debilitate uh, from time to time, and I'm also using Devo from time to time, uh, just to reduce the food I'm using. Uh, and here we go, we've hit 60k, so the minions are going to come again. I just do the exact same thing. Spam click under myself, all the minions will stack up. Uh, all the minions stack up, and then right here I'm going to use my two uh, multi-target abilities, and that's going to take care of all the minions for me, just like that, instantly. Uh, and that's basically the whole kill. You're going to have a couple more Rise Children at the end of it once the minions have been dealt with, uh, but nothing big to deal with, nothing important, no more minions, uh, so it's very straightforward right to the end. Uh, and that's basically your Greg kill. There's not that much to it. You just want to make sure that your HP is fairly high because you could get KO'd if you missed an attack. Uh, and other than that, uh, just make sure you've got some defense abilities just in case they'll help you out a bit. And just make sure you're looking out for the Rise Children uh, so that you can kill them whenever they spawn. Uh, but there you go, that's your full kill, and we just got some, some Raw Shark mutations. Really good in an Iron Man as well, saves you fishing 50 Raw Shark. Uh, that's your Greg kill. Okay, uh, now we're going to be talking about possible lootations. So this is the type of loot you can get from this boss. Uh, now it's very important to note uh, that these are based on the prices of the day this video is released, uh, which is the 8th of May. Uh, 2016. Uh, so currently the Crest of Sliske is approximately 21 mil, uh, you can get an offhand Shadow Glaive which is about 12 mil, main hand Shadow Glaive which is about 14 mil, and the Sliskelian Essence which is 750k. And you can also get the Dormant Anima Core gear, uh, as well as the Faceless Mask which is a boss pet. And that's about it for the guide. Thank you all so much for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed. As always, if anyone has any questions or anything, just put them in the comment section below and I'll get right to you as soon as I see them. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, the other thing is, in the near future I will be coming out with a video testing out the Shadow Glaives. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, you can click on the link that will only be on the screen once that video is released. So there might not be any link there, that just means the video isn't out yet. But when it comes out, uh, you'll just click on the screen and you'll go right there. Uh, so anyway, thank you all so much. Have a great one. Good luck at Greg, everyone. And peace out.